All right, what's up, everybody? We're here with uh, some RimWorld, and today we actually have audio, so, you know. Going back to our uh, colony here. Did briefly uh, recap what has occurred. We got the wall built. Uh, we got our little compound sectioned off here. We're going to go in here real fast and remove the home areas from outside so Forbes there doesn't go out and try and clean them. Uh, we have a visitor, Croyo, Croy. We're going to call him LaCroix. LaCroix here is a visitor from a village, and if we make him happy, we keep him at 50% the whole time. He is going to go ahead and uh, spread the good word, and we're going to get another colonist, so we will be at three rather than just the two. Now, in the last one, Forbes and Marcus both proved themselves to be uh, capable of defending themselves. Uh, I believe that it was from an animal. So, oh yeah, it was from <laughs> Yorkshire Terriers. So, we got that going for us at least. I'm thinking what I'll do here is uh, maybe expand this out. Possibly. And then I think we'll continue building the homes along the wall. Is like a dual layer defense almost cool beans uh, then we're gonna have him do solar panels or one of them and we already have a uh, Steam guys are in here, so we should be all right. What is this? Visitors? He needs a new t-shirt and new pants. set our granite bill here to go up to uh, 200 oh, that sounds like not a me problem <coughs> perfect excellent 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 they left us a gift. What they leave us? They left us a wooden torture crown. Great. And bison wool kid tribal wear. Just what I wanted for Christmas. Expand that upwards. Forbes is the powerhouse during the day. Marcus is it during the night. <laughs> Gives us 97 rice. So we're going to expand this zone a little bit. refuses to drop the sheep wool t-shirt 
Gotcha. He's <laughs> he's grown attached. All right. I think the other thing we need to do is get a uh, a prison set up. Just for any unfortunate, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll clear this and we'll actually make it right here. But uh, if we get a prison set up, that will uh, dissuade any who would try to escape and, you know, within reason could get us some decent recruits. up with this with the stubby inward facing spikes mm. it is used to induce pain that sounds like a bad time <laughs> I think what we'll do is these pieces that are single side facing outwards, at least the stone. Well, it'll probably last longer than the walls will, to be honest. We'll probably just smooth it out. Eventually, I'd like to get this all granite and then expand the farms out in here into the wetlands of uh, the north for us. And uh, I think we'll be right as rain after that. Yeah, I think what'll end up happening is we'll take this chunk of wall and we'll connect or at least come down. Who is Walrus? Who are you? I don't know who you are. Oh, I need y'all to not miss. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. How close are you to not making it? Pretty close. Okay. Uh, well. What we can try and do here is some quick first aid. Who's my best doctor? Not you. Forbes is... Ain't no way you're making it. I'm sorry, Walrus. Nope, not treat. No medicine. You might, you might just make it. It's gonna be a close one.
he did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have saved a wanderer. Uh, so what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna set up a little hospital bed in here. Not the cleanliest. Not the wow, cleanliest. Not the cleanest. Uh, not the best, but. They uh, really have nothing to complain about because the alternative was much worse. <laughs> In my personal opinion. We got a lot of chunks of spacecraft falling down nearby, which is good. We're going to need that stuff to, uh... I thought I had some over here. Huh? There's nothing too much to worry about. Oh. They are attacking immediately. Into position. Loose the arrows. Oof. Ooh, man. Let's see what the damage was, because I felt like that was some good... Yeah. Old Marcus with that longbow. I'm here to tell you. Something to be worried about. That dude is really good with the longbow. How's Walrus looking? Yeah, I... I'm sorry about the trees. I apologize, but... We make do with what we got around here. Go ahead and bump that up to 15. We've got some jade. About 17 jade. That's pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and get a grave going here. The fleeing knight. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, Marcus or Forbes? We're gonna do Marcus. Usually, I wouldn't do that, but why not? You know what I'm saying? How many? Just one? Alright then. I know y'all are trying to sleep and I'm sorry, but... There be dangers in them hills. Boys. Oh. Just a bruise. Alright. So we are going to get another bedroom built here. Avita <laughs> Zane. Mm. 
Mm. So, we've got time. <laughs> And that guy dug that grave for us while he was here. What a gentleman. set up Eventually they will have to be exhumed, but, or no, actually we'll keep this as like a little prayer room, meditation room rather. Miscellaneous, right there, meditation spot, right there. Definitely some strong stuff right there. Essentially any any side that has just one single piece I would like to uh, go ahead and smooth out just so it's a little bit more difficult to get through for them. Heel root harvested. Oh, she? Croyo. Oh, Croyo is a she. That's my bad. I definitely thought that that was a uh, strong man. I apologize if I misspoke. Uh, what am I looking for here? is coming along pretty well. We've also got the muffalo over there. Decent amount of medicine. I know you don't like it here. I know you don't. Was that your rival that was fighting for your life? It was. Well, you were fighting for his life. Wouldn't be a bad one to have around, that's for sure. Ah, uh, with that medical skill. I'm just happy we've got so much steel, to be honest. It's been 18 days since I've seen any steel. 
And then again, we're going to come around and clear up the home zones. Don't want home zones on the outside. That is how you get raided. And then all of a sudden, one of your colonists is outside sweeping the ground. Not a good time for anybody. Research is coming along nicely. I think we need to make a battery room. We'll probably make this chunk back here our uh, our power area, etc. So we're gonna go ahead and get up a nice little um, battery room. How many granite blocks do we have? We have 206. Perfect. All right. So yeah, we're gonna make a nice little battery room back here. Uh, probably after we mine that and mine that out. And then we'll make this little chunk a battery room. And then we'll start running some, uh, cordage over to the areas in question. Smooth those out so we can actually apply, uh, the stuff to them. And then we want to go ahead and start getting some of our smithies and other things ready here our art bench then we're gonna start clearing up these trees oh boy who is it ah Forbes and Marcus good for them right, so we're gonna reinstall that there we are gonna uninstall you Marcus, I need you to prioritize that. And then I want you to get a double bed up and going. We're going to do a steel one. Those two things built. Um, we can get a little uh, billiards table going if we so chose. Let's call the eggs out only when the box is full to save time. Temperature damage. Interesting. Alright. So we've got that pretty much all done, which is good. Visitors, the union. We're getting a lot of tribal visitors, which is cool. We also need to go ahead and... Uh, Break up this whole floor. We've got enough slate, marble, slate. Where's the granite? <laughs> Did I use all the granite? I took it for granite. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch to marble, which is upsetting because I like my. Uh... Oh, there's some granite right there. Unhaul those inside. This is granite, right? Yeah. Bye guys. <laughs> your your stay was short. Have a good one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start getting this wall set up. Mm, that's too far. This will be our battery room here. I'm actually going to have them smooth out all the walls. Uh, order smooth surface. At least the single walls in here. That way we can run electricity a little bit easier. How are we looking on food? Are we out? Completely dry. 
looking that way. So we need to. Is there any predators on the map? It's a timber wolf, and that is it. So we need to do a little bit of hunting. Because all of the natural predators of the map have gone and got themselves extinct. So we're going to go after an alpaca. And we'll go after an ibex doe. Now this is where things get sketchy because it could go pretty sideways. We do have a merchant coming in. No, this is for... These two. Alright, who's got the best social skill? Zero. Zero. Z negative. Alright, so uh, this is just going to be a case of who's going to go talk to them. So, we they've got a couple of goats and I would be willing to sell the muffalo for the goats. At least one of them. But we can't even get one of them. Uh, so we'll hold on to the muffalo because the wool production alone makes it worth it. Uh, we do have some pemmican, so we're going to just hold on to the pemmican for now because that's what's feeding us. And in the meantime, we will just have our visitor here. We'll actually probably go out and do that because he does have the best plant skill. Yep. He's already getting his meals going. That's what we like to see. So, I mean, out of that, that should provide us six meals, which should be more than enough time for the rice to grow, which would be excellent. The one thing that I am worried about here is uh, any sort of raid or what have you, because... That is going to be bad news bears for us. We might have to expand his enclosure a little bit just to come up here. Just to make sure he has enough grass. Stop bringing your animals inside, please. Alright, good news. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Oh, thanks, guys. Very kind of you. Walrus, so long. Catch you on the flip side. Hope you make it back to wherever it is you're going. If you get down again, we're not saving you. It is what it is. Alright. So I could have swore... There they are. There's the two ship chunks I was thinking of. Deconstruct those because we're going to need components for our batteries and our solar panels, I do believe. Uh, I could be wrong in that, though. Yeah, we're going to need components. Rice is coming along well. We've already got a little bit. Wood store is looking decent. That rhino really makes me nervous, but I wish I could tame it. Oh no.
Flee, brother. out here with the saving shot put it right in the back of the uh, pallet there Marcus how you looking health wise you just got a nice nasty bite There, do you get that? No. We're gonna have food now, big fella. The wolf provides. Let him all the components. And then we're gonna remove. Where is it? I'll pack it. You're safe for now. Ye days are numbered. Well, they might be numbered anyways. Okay, so we need to get this floor either smoothed out, which is an option. So we're looking a little bit better on components. We definitely have enough to get up at least three batteries. And... Well, that costs two, so let's go ahead and assume the solar panels cost two. We should be good to go. Forbes, I need you to clean in there, please. Thank you. that can do some construction here. Nope. It's just Marcus. granite chunks. We like seeing that. Piotr. And when it awakes, it will have a bigger enclosure. You know what? Honestly, it would probably just be quicker to floor this up. just going to do 
paved tiles in here. I forgot we had a little boom rat. <laughs> I forgot all about him. It's gonna give us another six components. So I think what we do is we start off with three batteries and then uh, we'll go from there. That's why we get rid of the oak trees. Uh. Alright, there's that. And then we are just going to make this a simple concrete floor. Remove some of the flammability of it. I like his style. Chunks at a time. Although aesthetically, I wish he would have went up there when he went across, because that would have been cool looking. Forbes is all messed up. Wooden foot and food poisoning. It's a rough life. Perfect. All right. watching to VOD. Uh, where is it? There it is. 15 days ago, so in three days, this one will be pretty solid. Quite well. We'll have power here soon, I think. Excellent. Forbes getting some research done before bed on the solar panels. We are going to go ahead and get three batteries built. One thing I do miss from my mods is 
the uh, large chunk batteries that you could just make. There's one battery. And then I think we'll do solar panels along here. We'll see how the sizing works out. And then we'll run electric line probably down and two here because eventually we're going to build a uh, the steam powered power plant. up now to save me the heartache later all right we are gonna build a little prison block probably down here in this corner hollow up that Leopard. Leopard has a bow. He's pretty good at shooting and melee. should come up through there. So we're gonna rally our people right here. See how close we can get him in. And then good old Kuroyo here. Just gonna go give him a wallop. those two and then we're gonna dig him a grave out here actually I mean do that we'll make a little square there for meditation purposes cracked by the bow. Whoopsie. Alright everybody, all of your duties now consist inside. Because there's a little uh, well. Explosively bad time outside. I'm at about 60%, so that's pretty good. Uh, and then once he bounces, we will have another person joining us, Ramirez. They're a plank cutter. They have a chemical fascination, which is... Mm, but they're nimble. They're 30 years old. They're good at melee, plants, artistic, social, perfect for what we need.
Hopefully this boom rat chills out by then. It should need to sleep at some point. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Marcus, nope. You're not gonna sell him. Tend that one. Forbes, yep. Prioritize tending. one hopefully we can send them off before uh, it gets real bad we gotta last 11 hours it's all we need his immunity's good we have barely enough tribal medicine to pull through, though. He might even, or she might even make it, rather. Chill out. Yeah, I think it did. Shuttle. Come on. Hello, Ramirez. Pretty decent cook. Marcus, how you looking health wise? My boy. Pretty good, actually. Are you good at mining? Pretty decent. 
We do want to get you a... Jacks made. Okay, no, not a breach axe. Maybe just a regular axe. I right, want it made out of uranium. Good, good to go. It's almost done. It's an excellent breach axe. Or regular axe. I think what we'll do after that is we'll probably get some uh, some simple helmets made. At least three of them. That way everybody has a helmet. Marcus, I need you to go and get in bed. Some bedwear rest, buddy. Shoot. Yeah, you can craft. I don't care if you craft. But you need to treat that. These simple helmets, I think, will. Uh, hide us from the inevitable lucky headshot that occurs and maybe even protect us from some animal attacks if we're lucky another little room throne room back here set up perfect next is machining And then it'll be what factions do I have in this? A couple of outlander tribes. There's a pig union. It's mostly tribal, two things of pirates. But I think on the world map here, there's not very many tribal peoples surrounding me. Or there is mostly tribal people surrounding me and a couple of hostile tribes. Pretty much all hostile tribes, actually. <laughs> we do have some pirates over here and down here, but I think for right now we're fine. Got 
couple of small sculptures going. We are not going to use... Oh, everything else is fine. nine components we can get two done for right now so in the meantime oh there I go again clicking off the screen in the meantime we'll go ahead and get a power conduit set up here and then we will uh, start running some lines down to here once we get that smoothed out So we're gonna go ahead and set up a little, little zone for a little thumb. Uh, the smoke leaf. the steel that we just used up for everything but yeah so far so good I mean got some bedrooms set up we're at three people we've got working power source can't uh, can't beat that decent amount of wood sitting in the base and in our stockpiles so I mean all in all it could be worse new pants we can do that I don't even want to go to sleep and all but I almost forgot about the plague. I was like, he had the plague? What? That's wild. But uh, all right, everybody. I mean, we've got the basic infrastructure laid out here for the base. And uh, Marcus is still working away at the walls there. I think we'll call it here for right now. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.